All right, today's revisit, and this is probably the last revisit for a little bit, is going to be Bishop. So you probably do not remember the Bishop content on my channel because it's like eight months old. It's older than the Iceman content at this point, so it's absolutely crazy. And it was only like one little video. So I, I still do want to like make a revisit for Bishop though because I think he's such a fun and cool character. Like, look at this path right here. Look at this damage output. I know it's power shield, but it's still just so fun to like have bishop do so much damage in one sp2 and all the paths on this video aren't going to be like cheesy like this there's some like actually pretty important paths some pretty like useful paths that show bishop's utility and then there's others that are just like you know pure cheese like the energy adoption lanes and honestly i just think bishop is just like a very fun character but when you need him to be good he can be very very good and very useful so I kind of want to talk about like a rise of bishop i wouldn't say he's like having a fall yet because he's always been useful but back when bishop first came out i think he came out in 2018 i believe he wasn't really all that you know like he wasn't too good no one really cared about him that much and he just wasn't really anything special he wasn't that good of a defender um battlegrounds were now obviously so he wasn't useful there like there just wasn't much going on for bishop and he wasn't really regarded as a good character and as time progressed that like kind of stayed the same you know people still didn't care about bishop even the synergies that he got no one really cared about him and then i think it was it wasn't when was it was it september it was sometime in 2020 right that he got buffed and the buff was just like actually no it was sometime in 2021 that he got buffed and that buff was just incredible that buff like really changed the character to be what he is today and bishop today is just an absolute blast he is so useful as well so like not only is he a very fun champ he's just like a very useful champ as well uh he has like so much defensive capabilities super cheesy on energy on energy lanes man it's so fun like right here this is energy adoption lightning energy adoption cold snap i believe well it's it's one of the two i know it's like a lot of energy stuff and you're just gonna see the interaction here but yeah back to bishop i feel like his buff honestly made him more of a defender than like an attacker but he's still very useful on attack you know like i said very useful for energy stuff if the opponent has like energy damage on their basic attacks it becomes like very easy to build up prowess uh like the prowess does a lot of damage and now he has like an incinerate on this v2 so it like increases damage output by like 80 percent which is massive because like his damage output was pretty decent you know but he didn't really have much going on other than that but now he has like a massive damage increase and now he has like even more utility than before it's just a very, very good time for Bishop now. And man, is he annoying on defense. When he first got buffed, people realized how annoying he was on defense. Like, my gosh, if you do not bring an incinerate immune, you're kind of just done for. And plus, he has the unblockable special attacks. Uh, he has, like I said, the aura of incineration. I know that's like Mephisto's thing, but like Bishop has it now too. And he was a big problem for alliance war like he was a very big problem and then like more counters came out like you know ghost was an obvious counter because you just like convert the incinerates into furies and over time he kind of like calmed down as a defender like as of now i wouldn't say he's too bad of a defender and honestly i feel like he's kind of having an an upbringing of being an attacker because like especially with the release of battlegrounds man is this guy a monster in battlegrounds not only for defense because i know on in battlegrounds your deck is more like you know limited right so you won't have like every single bishop counter so you could it could like it could end up being like the last three characters on your deck versus like a bishop and you just have like a bunch of energy damage champs you know so you can't really do anything but not only that bishop is just crazy in attack for battlegrounds you know you pop one sp2 if it doesn't crit then you just need to do like one sp1 and then they're done but usually it crits like I, well right there it didn't crit which is unfortunate but 
he's just very reliable for, for, for battlegrounds you know and especially versus like kingpins i remember kingpin and safeguard he was so dang annoying man because like he just shrugs off every damage over time debuff so you couldn't really like do any dot to him so you just had to like play around the safeguard it was so annoying but bishop just absolutely wiped him out because of like the purify thing that bishop has and also i haven't even mentioned it bishop is such a good counter to purify because like if you try to purify him he does damage to you and this is like can, this can be really cheesed because uh bishop's aura on his sp1 inflicts incinerate debuffs so if they like shrug the debuffs they take the damage and it's just like a very fun time like you should try it versus a kingpin it's very hilarious and like back to this path it's just he's just trolling this path at this point like it's a very funny interaction so when he takes shock damage incinerate damage or bleed damage he like overloads and what that means is he loses prowess and when he loses his prowess he gives damage to the opponent right but then the cold snap on this doesn't count towards the overload so it's trying to add the prowess back but since he's being shocked it's taking the prowess down so it's just like this constant flow of like you dealing damage to the opponent like as you can see he's taking like three or four hundred damage 500 damage even just because the cold snap's trying to apply the prowess to bishop but the shock is removing them so it's just like you keep on taking damage and keep on gaining prowess it's very hilarious and also you you gain a ton of regeneration as well and by the way that region is actually pretty dang potent especially with the mangog synergy it's just like a very nice way to sustain yourself you know which bishop does pretty well because like he can also shrug off bleed uh very useful if you run the recoil masteries which in my opinion bishop kind of needs because a thing with like prowess champs is that they scale so well with the recoil masteries and i think it's because like the special attack damage gets like greatly boosted by any random attack increase you know so like having plus 60 percent attack just really increases your special attack damage and that was a pretty nice sp2 given that i didn't have that many prowess so yeah he just like really trolls this lane he's like in my opinion one of the best counters because he ends with like a full yellow bar and it's just like a very easy time so i decided to switch it up for a bit and do a different lane this lane is redlining and unblockable and specialist too and that's really good for bishop because uh one is a terax which he does energy damage so you can just gain a bunch of prowess and then two it's specialist too and you really want to do the sp2 with the bishop so it's a very fun time i don't think i crit at this in this matchup at all though which is unfortunate but even then it's still like good damage that's the thing with bishop like there are some characters when they don't crit they do like noodle damage you know uh sunspot for sure but like with bishop even if you don't crit you still have the incinerate damage and the incinerate is pretty dang potent i would say like there that was a 42k crit and now the incinerate's even more stronger so like it is a con of bishop that you do need to crit basically but he does have some ways to compensate for not creating you know but yeah speaking of cons i would say there are like a few cons of bishop for one like i said the crit thing for two he kind of need oh, i don't say he needs to like the recoil masteries but mm, i would say the benefit is so much that like you really want it on at all times for bishop and another con is that like outside of the energy cheese and all that the purify cheese he doesn't really have that much utility but to be honest for a mutant character he does the common mutant tropes very well like for me a common mutant trope is like countering purify and like uh having a ton of prowess which he does and having a lot of special attack damage which he does and that sv2 is pretty nice for being against a sentinel of all champs so there are cons to the character like like i said lack of utility well not a lack of utility just like i guess a lack of general utility i would say that's more fair because he does have utility it's just very very niche but overall still even with like his very few amount of cons he has like a ton of pros you know like doesn't really need to be duped so if you pull him as like your first six star first five star you're just like absolutely chilling and 
he can just go on defense for you even if you want because like he's such a good defender too he has like uses in every single aspect of the game that's what i love about bishop he's useful literally everywhere at this point and i think i have one more fight after this on this path and i'll catch i'll catch up with you after this fight realized i kind of waffled on a ton about bishop and it kind of repeated a lot of things but it's fine you know so and now we're on this lane it's like knockdown physical and uh something that increases your diva potency so it's a very fun time because one bishop special attack damages energy so he just ignores the node completely and two the incinerate is a debuff so it gets in it gets its potency increased so it's a very fun time and you're going to see why right here. So I'm building up to the SP2. I hope it created. Okay, it didn't crit there, but you can see the incinerate damage. Just a chicken, it's like ticking for a ton. So this this lane is like pretty much bishop, bishop food, to be honest. Like he just does all these fights so very well. Because he's like, he like ignores the physical resistance node, you know. And the incinerate jam is just like getting higher and higher. And I think I go for the SP1 here to finish it off. So yeah, very straightforward path if you bring the right champ. And I think Bishop is the right champ in this case. And now I think I'm going to move on to further into the path. Oh yeah, I skipped the Sauron because... um. You can see my storm, my storm is KO'd because of that Sauron. And that just goes to show that I cannot fight Sauron to save my life, man. Like, he's been out for quite a bit. I still barely understand the champ, but I still, like, really want him. And, yeah, I cannot wait to pull Sauron because, like, I have him on my ult, but, like, I don't have the recoil masteries on my ult, so it's kind of just, like, he's very bad on my ult, basically. But yeah, continuing continuing on with this fight, I'm just building back up to my SP2, and one SP2 should be enough because I have the energy vulnerability, so yeah, we're about to see right here. I got one crit, and that, <laughs> that, that one crit really changed the damage output there, dang. See, she is just absolutely melting, and yeah, the incinerate finishes her off, actually. So that is just nuts. And now we have the Magneto X. I was looking forward to this matchup the most because uh, Magneto X has like... Why am, I, why am I blinking? Oh yeah, he has energy damage. He has energy damage on his basic attacks. And that's what you really want with Bishop because like... You get more prowess more easily. So it's just a very fun time. So with the synergies, I get to my SP3, so I get the permanent energy vulnerability, and from here, it's just like easy pickings, because I'm going to get a ton of prowess because of Magneto X, and now the only issue is I just need to, I just need to dodge the SP1. 
because I cannot do that to save my life at this point. a pretty easy matchup very fun because uh bishop can just take advantage of magneto and now we're gonna move on to the bosses so i have three bosses planned for this video it's this magneto this magneto boss right here the magneto house of x boss at 7.2 and then the 7.4 crossbones boss so all of these i thought bishop would be very good for and he in fact is very good for all of these bosses so, with this one, basically just, like, Magneto has energy attack, so it's just very easy way to get prowess. I accidentally <laughs> let my charges fall off, so I took a degen, but it's fine. It's not even that potent. And, yeah, now he's need to build to our SP2. I don't expect it to crit because Magneto does have crit resist. And yeah, like I said, it didn't crit, but that incinerate damage is insane, man. 10.2k incinerates. And I know we have, like, the Furies from the node on, but even then, it's just so crazy. Like, that damage output is so fantastic. He crit again there, and now it's, like, 8.8k, and yeah, that's done. So that was, like, how fast was that? That felt pretty fast. That was a minute and two seconds absolutely insane and now we have the magneto x boss so this boss was super annoying for me because like it has special connoisseur and i despise that node because like you have to use special attacks to do damage output and like you don't really get your special attacks too often so it can just be like very very annoying and also his sp1 like he threw it so much man and i hate dodging the sp1 i am not good at it at all and like he just kept on throwing it <laughs> like he threw it literally twice in her like oh my gosh i could not stand him in this matchup but yeah now i'm just gonna try to build up to my sp2 i don't know why my prowess fell off but even then still did a ton of damage output and i guess this is like a interaction or maybe even a bug but like the incinerate does its full damage even though he has the protection on so, like, that doesn't really make sense to me, but, you know, I'm not going to complain, you know? It just helps out Bishop a lot. And, yeah, we're going to get to another SP2 here. We're going to bait out his first, though. He's being very stingy with it. But, yeah, hopefully these all crit, and it just, like, ends the fight. But, nope, zero crits. Okay. <laughs> well, that just goes to show that... Sometimes Bishop can be a bit problematic with the crit scenarios and the crit. I don't know. Like, he just... It can be a problem sometimes. But even the Incinerate, like I said, does some pretty decent damage output. So it's fine, I guess. And hopefully this one crits. Yep, no crits again. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is like a bad... Maybe my luck is just terrible. His base crit rate is like 20 something percent. It's not even that bad. Like, Rintra has 12% crit rate. So that's like absolute dog poo, right? But Bishop has like 20% and he has like three chances to crit. So, and even then, that was like 158. That's not even that bad. And now, last, we have the Crossbones boss. This boss, it did take a bit of time, but it was so fun because. I, like, used the purified cheese for this matchup. I'll show you what I mean. So, we, like, he, you saw how he took damage there when he purified. So, that's the that's the name of the game. The, na the name of the game is just, like, throw the SP1, get a ton of incinerates, and then just hopefully stack as many, and he purifies all of them. So, he just takes a bunch of damage. And also, there's foresight on this. I should have taken more advantage of it, but I didn't. Actually, no, I think I did. Okay. Well, 
even then, like, the main source of damage is probably, like, the incinerate, the incinerate's being purified. And it's just, like, a ton of cheese at this point. So, like, that's about it for how this fight works. I'm just gonna let it play out. And that's probably gonna be it from me as well. So I hope y'all like the revisit. I really love Bishop. I still think he's an amazing character, and he's only getting better with, like, Battlegrounds and all that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it.